Hi guys, how's everybody doing? I'm having a hard time speaking English today. I don't know why, my brain's not working the way that it should, but I still need to talk about Fedora 43, how it compares to 42 in terms of bugginess and issues, and how it compares to 42, one of the worst Fedora releases of all time. <sighs> I managed to do that intro. Imagine that, it only took seven times. Alright, let me just get in position here. You ready? Ugh. I'm gonna sit up. There we go. So, uh, I've been using Fedora 43 to develop a package manager. It's called Rustora. It's right here. But the video's not about that. And I started this project a couple of days ago. And I was stopping sometimes to play some games listen to music and you know i also had to use affinity to make thumbnails and everything else so i had to really kind of do a lot of workstation content creation and streaming along with video editing rendering and coding and uh compiling so it kind of i kind of went all over the place i kind of fit every little niche little thing except for sound production i don't i don't make music i would love to make music but again i don't have instruments or pianos to make music so that's kind of out of the question isn't it but nonetheless it's um it's still an all-around type of experience including normal web browsing responding to comments on youtube and things like this and one of the biggest things I noticed when it comes to Fedora 43 is that Steam does not take 43 seconds to open, which is huge, by the way. It means Fedora is now matching the performance and uh, speed of the other distros that I end up using. You saw how fast that was. Not only that, but Heroic doesn't take six years to open. Lutris doesn't take six years to open. Uh, da Vinci's Resolve opens almost instantly, like usual, and it's nice. It works. It functions. This is the whole point. Where Fedora 42 would struggle to open even the most simple of applications. This is, this is entirely made clear multiple times about how bad Fedora 41 and 42 failed to meet the needs of its users. It was so bad, in fact, that I saw hardcore, die-core, uh, dying, like, die-hard fans jump to Arch Linux or to Pico OS to avoid the disaster that was 42 and 41. I was one of those people. You would normally see me, again, uh, I moved primarily to Linux when Fedora 40 hit. NVIDIA drivers dropped, Explicit Sync landed, and everything fell into place to be the perfect alignment uh, for godliness. It was sent down, bless me, with the Linux gods. Yes. The god known as Peng. He's a great person. You'd love him. He's a penguin. He has Thor's hammer and he wanders around blessing anyone who uses Linux. So, kind of fits into the whole paganism thing that I am a part of. But... Then 41 hit, and it's like, the hell are you? Why are you? I don't enjoy you no more. Bug after bug after bug after bug. They forgot to turn on system services that monitor thermals. They forgot to turn on certain mitigations that prevent you from being hacked or compromised. So many things were forgotten. So many programs crashed. So many issues. They broke Steam. Countless problems half fixed. And that's where we kind of land it with 42, as these problems just got worse. You were given a 50% chance that the game that you opened would work, where on every other distro it would just work 100% of the time. It's annoying, where native Linux games would not work at all, and you'd have to do some screwery like open up Steam via the terminal to get them to even barely, to barely function. Let's be honest, barely function is the correct term. Yep, yep, yep. But, again, they didn't care enough to do any fixing. 
distributions that relied on Fedora had to do their own fixing. And they did. Nibara ended up fixing almost all of these issues, but Steam still opened up quite slow and a bunch of applications didn't really function that well. That's according to my experience and a lot of other people who experience Fedora with me. I get asked every now and again, is Fedora fixed? Is Fedora fixed? Is Fedora fixed? Yes, Fedora 43 has fixed all of those issues and finally has returned to a stable landing. It's done. We are back at Fedora 40 levels of stable. It's brilliant. I could stay on this distro for my entire life and be happy. I don't even want to go back to Cache OS because I have everything here that I need. Plus, I like developing my package manager a lot. I'll put that in the description below. You guys can go test that if you want. I do a lot of things on my... In my Linux, I guess, if you will. And, uh, again, Photoshop-like work is one of them. As you can see, this is Affinity Photo. A video editing... Obviously, because again, I make videos. I gotta go actually go fix something real quick. There's just so much that I like to do, and most of it requires the utmost stability. You know what I mean? Yep, that's what it's supposed to be named, and save. So, I'm not one of those people that need a prison distro. I know you're probably thinking, go to Bazide, go to Bazide, do this, do this. You'll have a more stable experience. You won't have to worry about these bugs. These bugs also affected those distros you mentioned. I call them prison distros because they don't allow you to the freedom to truly express yourself or to, you know, have what you want. I cannot do immutable distros. They are prison to me. And again, you may be into sitting inside of a box, having everything done for you, but I'd rather do everything myself. Uh, I've been learning to do everything myself on Linux since 1993, and I don't really want to uh, deviate from that. Just to have that false sense of pride. False, because it's delusional to think that sitting on an immutable distro is going to solve any of your issues. It doesn't matter if something is immutable or not, you're still going to come across issues. But now, instead of, you know, relying on yourself to be able to fix these problems, you have to rely on the developer who manages and maintenances that immutable distro it's a prison guard that comes by every once in a while and tweaks the power to make sure everything's okay i'm not a fan of that what i am a fan of though is the door 43 the developers did a fantastic job creating a stable environment for gaming video editing photo editing and so much more i've been able to do Everything that I want, everything that I need, I have everything I want and everything that I need. So it really goes to show when they really want to get serious, Fedora really knows how to lay down the line and say, you know what, enough with the bugs, let's fix every single one of them and make a proper stable distro again so that the people can enjoy themselves. And that's what they did. So to the Fedora developers, I say this, bravo, your Fedora 43 is a masterpiece. Please don't screw it up. I beg of you. Fedora will always have a soft spot, a soft spot in my heart, and I want it to have a home on my system. Because it deserves to have a home. It deserves to be used. It's a fantastic distro. I don't do politics on Linux, and if you do, that's a skill issue. I'm sorry. I tend to avoid politics because if something works, if something is fun, if something is functionable and it all flows together, I will enjoy it. I don't care about the outside noise of the world. I'm less stressed when I don't care about the outside noise. And that is Fedora. Fedora right now in its current state just works and I am so happy. So to celebrate the happiness. Let's push it to the limit, shall we? Let's update the distro. Minus all of that. I need to put a select all button. Yep, I do. So we're going to install all of these updates. 
it's not that many there's only about 63 minus two so we're about you know 60. and uh the reason i'm not updating cider is because cider is currently broken it's not a fedora issue it's uh Fortunately, just the way they've been handling themselves lately. I don't know. Maybe they ran across a bug or something. Who knows? I need to make it so when I click this, it ends up clicking the checkbox. I think that'd be really cool. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff here. So, look. If you're wondering if Fedora is ready to use, if you're wondering should you upgrade, the answer is clearly yes. And for those of you who are on Nabora, Glorious Eggroll currently is in development for version 43. He's already got a repo up for it. Do not install or try to update to it yet. It's not ready. But I just wanted to let you know that that's a thing. So that, you know, you can look forward to something. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're using Fedora 43, tell me about your experiences in the, in the comment section, of course. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.